But from there, I have a quiz that I give the moms called the super mom quiz. And it really breaks down your time management style into one of four different types. And from there, then it's like, okay, here are the tools that are going to work for you with your super mom type. Um, so that's really interesting, but to give you an idea of the things that, that I always use for every mom, regardless, um, weekly planning. So I was showing you before we got recording what my weekly plan looks like. It, it is very colorful, but it is it's the best tool that I find to keep people focused on a week is a really good amount of time instead of a, a plan for each and every day, um, because things flow and move, right? And we get we get a lot more done in a week than we think and a lot less done in a day than we think. So if we focus on the week and we use sort of a spaciousness uh, and a flexible technique, we can get a lot accomplished. Um, and the other thing that I really like to focus on with every single mom is boundary setting. And it doesn't sound like a time management tool, but it really is the, the deeper work behind it. So I always say like time management isn't the end goal. Our end goal isn't to be an expert time manager. Our end goal is to have a life that we enjoy living with space to do the things we want and balance it all. Right. Mm -hmm. So the time management is the tool to get there. Mm -hmm. So the weekly plan, the boundary setting, and the understanding of what, where your priorities and your values are actually lying and a coordinate, like coordinating your yeses to that. 